Hi guys, real quick, some people were asking about how to calculate expect expectation values with NumPy arrays or with wave functions represented as NumPy arrays. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. I've just got a simple wave function here that's the superposition of uh, a sine of pi x over l and a sin two times the sine of 2 pi x over l. So it's, it's dominated by the n equals 2 component, but it's got a little bit of n equals 1 component. And here's the trick. If you take the absolute value of psi and square it, and then you add those up with the sum, it's a numpy array, so you can just say sum, and then take the square root, that becomes a normalization factor. And if you divide psi by that normalization factor, then psi now is normalized. If you look at it, you can see, well, it's not obvious that it's normalized, but how, how can you tell that it's normalized? Well, you could say, give me psi squared and let's sum that, and it comes out to be 1. So that tells you that psi is uh, actually normalized. Now the cool thing is I can, I can actually plot that. So I can say PL plot uh, x and psi, and that's the, uh, there's a little grid, grid on that so you can see what that looks like. <clears throat> and that's what the wave function looks like. So it's dominated. It's mostly n equals 2, but you can see this side is a little bit shorter than that side, so that means we've added into it a little bit of n equals 1. Now, what about the probability density? Well, that's not bad. I can just square this, and that gives me the probability density. So you can see the midpoint of the wave function is 1.5, but it goes from 0 to 3, but you can see that it shifted a little bit to the left. So you'd expect the expectation value to be over here somewhere. How do I calculate that? Well, it turns out to be easy. Uh, psi squared, of course, is the probability density. So I could, let's see, psi squared. This is, these are the probabilities of being in any of these cells. How do I calculate the expectation value? Well, I take the x of this cell times its probability plus the x of that cell. Well, what are the x's? The x's are these guys. So I would take 0 times that guy. I take 0 0.1578 times 0 0.0139. I take 0 0.3157 times... 0.05078 and so on. And wait a bit. That's what NumPy does is it multiplies arrays. So I can just multiply this array by that array and I get the product of those two. The expectation value is just the sum of those products because it's x times it's x at the first cell times the probability of being in that cell plus x at the second cell times the probability of being in that cell and so on. So the answer is that sum. So that's a quick way. See, I'm kind of in, it's like an integral. I'm doing a sum, but it's the sum of the product of the probability of being at any value of x times the x value that goes with that spot. And I just add those guys up. And that's how. So that's the expectation value of x. You want to know the expectation value of x squared? You just multiply by x squared. That's the expectation value of x squared. You want to know sigma? Well, that's not too bad. You take the expectation value of x squared minus the expectation value of x, right, squared, and then you take the square root of that. So that's sigma, okay? And that's the way the game is played. I hope that helps.